Here we go. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. It's blue. It's blue. <laughs> it's blue. Today I'm in Pensacola, Florida visiting my client Carrie Freeman. She loves enjoying all the parks that surround her house with her dog Maverick and her boyfriend Tori, but she doesn't use her backyard outdoor space as much as I would like and certainly not as much as she would like. So today I'm here to remedy that problem. When you work with somebody digitally and from a distance away, you really have no context for where they live. But when I got to actually drive into Carrie's neighborhood and see what it looked like, every house looks different architecturally and everything's clean and neat and really well kept. It looks like a movie scene. It's so beautiful. I really love that it's unique and different. It definitely has a coastal vibe to it, but also has like an old school, like maybe Charleston or Savannah feel to it too. But it's so close to downtown and the water, I have a little tiny water view. When Tori comes over, we like to walk around the neighborhood and enjoy walking Maverick, but we don't actually hang out in the backyard as much as we probably could if we had more seating and if we had it set up in a way and designed so that we could enjoy it. So I really needed Catherine's inspiration to help me pull that together. I think the reason that Carrie and Tori are probably spending so little time in the backyard area is that it's really an odd flow. There's not a good space to put a couple of chairs. There's a pathway that leaves from the back steps of the house into the garage with a little bit of an outcrop of extra pavers maybe where you could put something, but you definitely can't put an arrangement of furniture there. So that's what we wanted to do is kind of expand upon what was already there to make it something that was more functional for her to enjoy. So I got a meeting together, we sat down and actually looked at the picture of what the new space is gonna look like. You kept explaining it as modern, but when you showed me the pieces that you wanted, it wasn't modern? I don't know. It, it would, I don't know. More, I would actually call it maybe more like Scandinavian. Wow. I don't, I don't know. I'm starting to kind of not like putting labels on people's style because it's your style. It's what you like. You can throw in all kinds of different stuff. But with all the components that you told me, this is what I came up with. Well, I and, love it. Because I know perfect. you wanted to pull away from that gray. You like gray, mm -hmm. but you wanted to pull some color in. We've got these chairs that have their, their gray in color, but they've also got visual texture. And we pulled in some metallics with side tables. I what like you, that pop of color too. You do? I was gonna ask you about that. Because I love like? color, but I'm scared of it, you know? If it were up to me to go pick out plants or um, even like throw pillows or a blanket, I'd probably be drawn to color, but I'm afraid that I'd probably overuse it. Because yeah. I think modern sometimes is like too white yeah. or like too monotone. Yes. And that's really not me because I like color, but then I struggle with how to how put to it in the it. design. Yeah. I think this will be a really good way to incorporate it in where it's above and it's not super in your face. It's a little more subtle. Mm -hmm. And then keep the sofa kind of neutral and then pull that color in with that piece of art from the back. So what do you think? Yeah, I love it. I mean, I love all the geometric shapes yes. to it yeah. and I really love the copper accents and then the pop of blue. So this is perfect. Okay, so this is not everything that's going to go into the design. We got to add plants and stuff which I think Tori's going to get to work in. He might be digging a few holes the day uh, that we have to. He's going to love that. <laughs> love it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got tons of plants to add which is perfect and then he's also said he's going to build the arbor too. Should be interesting. Since we had our consultation, Tori and Carrie have been super busy picking paint colors, laying new pavers, painting a fence. They built an arbor. The list goes on and on. But today I'm here to finish up the final design with new plants and accessories to fill the space. All right, you ready? Here we go. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. It's blue. It's blue. <laughs> it's blue. I love it though. It looks so good. You did an amazing job. How difficult was it? It was, it was so real. First of all, the biggest hurdle we had to get over was our sprinkler system. Shoot. There's another water line. So I had to redirect all the lines down there. I thought it was fun, mostly because I wasn't doing all the hard work. This is professionally how you do it. You use the end of a rake. But we got it done. On, on the job experience. Yes, amazing. We I'm did a great very job. good at these now. <laughs> Are you gonna do another one? Absolutely not. I do not want to build another one, but it was fun. It was fun building it, and uh, but we uh, probably will never do that again. Yeah, thanks. Let's just say we might, you know, hire those kinds of jobs out in the future. All right. So the next step is Tori's going to do the super easy work, which is digging holes, 
planting shrubs, and then you and I are going to like arrange pillows. That's pillows. the hard stuff. That sounds very good. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started then. Poor Tori. We gave him the hard job, but I'm just glad we have extra hands to do all of that really tough work because it inevitably ends up being harder and takes longer than what we think it's going to take. Only like 67 more holes to dig. 67 more, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay, well, we're going to go fluff some pillows. He was joking, obviously, but then he narrowed it down to 18 minutes, which was really something, and then he got one shovel full in and went back to like two hours. <laughs> I think that's a little more realistic. Uh, you just never know how long a landscape install is gonna take, but as long as he gets done today, I'll be happy. 20 minutes, three hours, who's counting? This isn't too bad. When I design a space, I always start with the furniture. It sets the scale and the style for everything else. Accessories are always last, but once we put the furniture in, then we can add the rest of the layers that really pull it all together. So let's put the coffee table in, and then the side tables. There's one missing piece that took us till the very last minute to pick out, and that was the coffee table. Carrie saw one in a store, texted me a photo of it with two other options. I immediately knew that, that was the right one, but if you don't test it out in the space, you're really not sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> Seeing a client relax in their new chair and put their feet up on the new coffee table, you know you've made the right choice. So I've always been really drawn to straight lines and geometric shapes. Carrie ordered a custom piece of art. She sent me some ideas of what she wanted and consulted with me a little bit on color, but for the most part, she took care of it and between her and the artist, they did an amazing job picking out something that would be perfect for the space. It looks so good though, like the prettiest thing. After the big furniture goes in, that's when we get to do the little detail accessories that are so fun to choose and move around and really hone in on the homeowner style and personal preferences. And I love to bring in color with succulents, with the pillows, with other individual little planters and plants. It just softens up the space and it makes it so personal to each and every homeowner. When I'm styling a space, I like to look for accessories that have the right scale and the right shape. Color is not always necessarily something that I can't change because I always have a handy can of spray paint to change it around. So I was thinking, as long as you're okay with it, is to paint this black and then the, the legs that it's in this there. Yeah, copper. Got it. Yeah, and then these three hanging pendants, they can all be copper as well with the white candles. So right. we're just pulling all those different colors through and all the different accessories. Carrie found a lot of gold items and our color for this space is copper. So we're gonna take a few of the gold items that she bought and spray paint them copper so it fits in better with what we've designed. Everything as far as furniture is built to live outside in the weather, but a lot of times the accessories are the things that we think, this can't always live outside. And that's on purpose. You can't always have everything nice outside. Just like when you entertain inside, you bring out some nice things when there's guests coming over and you do things a little different. And it's no different here. But she can always take it away and pull it back out when guests are coming over again. I just love it. I think I learned a little bit about how to apply color. Catherine taught me how to accent color in a way that is not overwhelming. And I really think that I probably will try to use color more. Now on days like this will be the perfect opportunity for Tori and I to sit out on the couch with Maverick and just enjoy the weather and sunshine. So I'm excited and looking forward to seeing this space is more lit up and lived in. I'm ready to try another project. Got a whole rest of my yard and house to do. <laughs> This design turned out exactly like the inspiration board. The color of the arbor is perfect. The piece of art that Carrie commissioned works beautifully in the space. And then all these pops of color. And now it looks exactly how both of us, I think, envisioned. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. I personally, I, I didn't like working with Catherine. I she knew got he was going to say that. And... <laughs> hey now, did you take credit for God, that bird was just like, it was messing me up. It was the bird's fault. I'm just kidding, it wasn't the bird's fault. And are we finished as a couple? Probably. But at least you got an arbor out of it. <laughs>